Hi, I am Maker Giovanni and welcome back to my channel. Today we will see how I built this smart weather station. The weather station is pretty complete because it measures temperature, humidity, atmospheric pressure, wind speed and direction and the amount of rain that falls. All the data is collected by an ESP32, which is a kind of Arduino, and via Wi-Fi it is sent to the app on the smartphone. On the app or on the web page we can see real-time data and graphs, for example of temperature with minimum and maximum for every day, and the pressure graph, that we can use to make a rough weather forecast. But I didn't stop there, because I also made a display to keep inside home on which to see the weather data, connected via Wi-Fi to the weather station. But now let's get started! Let's start with what will control everything, which is an ESP32. An ESP32 board is a board similar to an Arduino, but with the ability of connecting to a Wi-Fi network. The ESP32 will be connected to all the different sensors, which we will see now. Before we start, I remind you that in the description you will find the written guide with the files to 3D print, the wiring diagrams and all the information about what we will see. To measure temperature and humidity I will use this sensor, which is the DHT22. I solder the sensor onto a perfboard with a connector and a pull-up resistor on the data pin. I put the sensor inside this strange object, which is called the Stevenson screen. The Stevenson screen is to protect the sensor from direct sun and rain, but to let the air pass through. This way we should have the most true measurement possible. To build it I 3D printed the various parts and attached them with two threaded rods. I glued the board with the sensor inside and underneath I put the bracket that would hold the sensor. Then we have the wind vane, which detects which direction the wind is coming from. In the end it's a bit of an evolution of the classic wind marker that we used to put on roofs. Even for this one I had to make some parts with the 3D printer. Now you are seeing in the video that I built it in 30 seconds, but in reality it took more than a week. The wind vane has this arrow piece at the back and the tip at the front, with a bolt in it as a weight to balance the wind vane. The wind vane can rotate freely with a ball bearing I put in the base. To detect the four cardinal points of the wind I will use four all effect sensors, which are magnetic sensors that are activated when a magnet approaches. My idea is to put them like this, with the magnet spinning and activating the sensor for the cardinal point the wind vane is turned toward. For intermediate points such as northeast, the two corresponding sensors will be activated. I put the magnetic sensors here on the base of the wind vane, raised up slightly. On the part that is free to rotate I glued the magnet. This piece also has the function of protecting the sensors from rain. I inserted the wind vane on the threaded rod and secured it with two nuts. The old sensors each have three wires, which go to their board with the LED. I put the four sensor boards in this little 3D printed box. A cable starts from here to carry the power and the signal for the four sensors. Now comes the animometer. I will talk about this in the next videos, so subscribe to not miss them. However, I also made this with the 3D printer, and it has a magnetic sensor inside that sends a pulse at each revolution. From the revolutions per minute then the wind speed will be calculated. 
Lastly, there is the Rain Gorge. We will see this in detail in the next video. However, it also uses a magnetic sensor, and any change in the state of the sensor means that a certain amount of water has passed through. To make it easier to assemble the weather station, I will put the various sensors on a single structure. To make it, I use the rectangular aluminium profile. In the center, I attached the rain gorge, and on the two sides, I put the anemometer and the wind vane. To hold everything up, I cut two more pieces of aluminium profile. On one side, I made a big hole which allows me to attach them without having the bolt sticking out underneath. In the end, this is the result. Now we have all the electronic part, which will be put in this junction box. To make the connections easier, I bought this board that carries the ESP32 pins on screw terminals. I don't know why, but my SP32 doesn't fit on this board. So I had to make adapters with a perf board to move the pins a little bit. I put the ESP32 in the box, and on the underside I put the antenna for the Wi-Fi connection. I almost forgot the atmospheric pressure sensor, which is the BMP180. I will put it here in the box, and to let the air pass through, I made this grid on the underside. This sensor communicates via I2C, so it will be connected to the ESP32 with two wires. Now we have all the other sensors coming in here with their wires. The temperature sensor connects directly to a pin on the ESP32. The problem are the all effect sensor of the anemometer, rain gauge and wind vane, which run on 5 volts, while the ESP32 runs on 3.3 volts. So to convert the signal from 5 volts to 3.3 volts, I will use level converters. To make things neater, I solder them onto a board. To make the connections I used the JST connectors, which are way more solid than classic jumpers. Finally I connected together the wires for ground, 5 volts and 3.3 volts, and tidied up the wires with cable ties. Anyway, in the description you can find the wiring diagrams and all the details about the software part as well. Now that everything is connected, let's see how to connect the weather station to the internet. The weather station will be connected to Home Assistant, which is a kind of local server to control the various home automation devices that we have in our home. To connect the weather station I will use ESP Home, which allows to connect the ESP32 to Home Assistant. After everything is set up, I can see the weather station data in real time, from the web page or the app. In addition, the data is recorded, and I can see graphs of the long-term trend of the weather. Now, for filming this video, the weather station is here on my balcony, but in the next few days I will mount it up there on that wall, where it is more exposed to the wind. Anyway, everything seems to be working, and here on the app I see the temperature, humidity and atmospheric pressure. Now some wind has also come, and in fact on the app we see the speed measured by the anemometer. Today, however, was the least windy day in the last 3 months. So for the anemometer video there was an helper out of the frame. The wind vane also works, and if I turn it around, we see that the cardinal points change. Now, obviously it's not raining, but if I put water in the rain gorge, we can see that the millimeters of rain increase. And if all of that wasn't enough, I also made a small display that is connected to a mass assistant, which is very convenient to see the data from the weather station without having to open the app. And so this video ends here, 
and thank you very much for watching it until the end. To not miss the next videos, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Bye and we will see you at the next video with another project.